identity switch. Becoming the woman who gets what she wants by April Mason. Co-author Adriana Mason. Forward by Rick Ross. Introduction. It all started in 1999 when I experienced my first identity switch. I was unaware of the process I was about to embark on, but I knew something had to change. As a young mother, I had no clue of what or who I was. I had three children to take care of, and it was no longer about me or my desires. The children came first. I can recall being so frustrated with life I felt as though my family did not set me up with the proper life tools to succeed. I placed blame and pointed the finger for a while, but I had to take responsibility for my own life. No matter the cards that you are dealt, ultimately, you are responsible for the life that you choose to live. I had to let go of the anger because I accepted that my family did their best and gave me what was passed down to them. During this time, I was living in a shelter in Richmond, California. The residents there would often say, you don't look like a shelter girl. I would simply tell them, I'm just passing through. Eventually, I moved to the transitional house, and that is where I had the vision. It was the vision of a woman in a business suit with a briefcase. She was beautiful, flowing hair, confidence, a successful career, a plethora of high caliber men to choose from. She drove a convertible, had a beautifully furnished home, amazing girlfriends, and an abundant bank account. She had a life that was happy and luxury, very footloose and fancy free. Although I did not see her face, I could feel the energy she exuded. Now let me tell you, it's one thing to be inspired by something, but it's another to put in the necessary work to become it. I didn't have much money, but I mustered up $39.99 from my welfare check to purchase a blue polyester double-breasted suit from a company called Newport News. Then I was off to pay less shoe source for some black pumps. I didn't know at the time that I should not have been wearing white stockings with black heels. Don't laugh. That suit represented the woman I was determined to become. Although my self-esteem, confidence, and self-worth were still low, putting on that suit allowed me to see and feel the possibilities of who I could become. The more the suit I wore, the more my confidence changed. So much so that when I wasn't wearing it, I still presented myself as a confident being. Because I only had a silhouette vision of this woman, I had no clue of her personality. I started to think about the women I admired. I began to take on the calm demeanor of Shirley Ralph's character, D in the sitcom Moesha. Now, I'm still a work in progress, but I have learned to respond versus react. I also love the class and elegance of Diane Carroll in her character, Dominique Devereaux, on Dynasty. I started to study these ladies and took pieces and apply them to myself. The more you practice a skill, the more you master it. Remember that. Long story short, taking small yet consistent steps played a massive role in my transformation. Now let's fast forward to 2020. When the pandemic hit, it caused everyone to take a look within. It was like the feminine energy rose and demanded her respect. People were asking themselves, do I like my life? Am I happy in my career? Have I neglected my love life? What will I do next? And the list goes on. The sales of our courses and programs went up by 60%. Women had been forced to stop. It's crazy how it takes a catastrophe to cause us to do a self-evaluation. During this time, I did a check-in with myself. I believe your next level requires a new you. I could feel that it was time to make another identity switch. Now, don't get me wrong. I love the life I've created. If I'm being honest, I must acknowledge that I had been playing too small. 
many of the goals I needed to accomplish required a different version of me. I had gotten complacent and found myself trying to skirt around the upgrades that needed to be made. This was due to not wanting what I thought were the burdens and responsibilities of my transformation. I remember telling myself, I don't really need that. I can move to the country, get quiet, and live a peaceful farm life. But my desires for particular things grew, and I could no longer ignore them. Although living on acres of land and owning a family compound has been my goal for several years, it just wasn't the right time for that. After taking a deep breath, I sat down and made a list of the things in my life that may not have been yielding the results that I wanted. On the other side of the paper, the big questions were asked. Who do you need to become to get what you want? How would this woman live her life? How would she dress? What type of friends would she have? What kind of man would she choose? And the list goes on. As I put pen to paper, it became clear that I had to invest my time, effort, and money into my change. When you are at the bottom of your next level, it can feel a bit scary. I had been here before, so I knew what was next. I could feel that I had tapped out of my current level. My passion was gone and I felt restless and unproductive. Because I believe in how potent the feminine energy is, I fully allowed myself to embrace what I call the feminine surrender mode. I knew this would be critical to my transformation. If you follow me on social media, you may remember the video that I shared about this state. I went more in depth about it in my All Things Feminine Social Club app. You can download the app in your Google Play or Apple Store to watch the replay if you haven't. Making an identity switch may sound like a big task to you. It's like being given a movie script that you have spent months memorizing only for the director to tell you they gave you the wrong script. Now that you have the new one, you must immediately become that new character. The old script no longer exists. It's an entirely new movie and you're on. Girl, now don't get nervous. It will be well worth it. If you feel like an identity switch is too much of a task for you, ask yourself this. Does my current identity give me the results that I want? As I always say, you never have to listen to a word I share, but your results do not lie. In this book, I will be walking you through the steps I took to create a life that I absolutely love, and you can take them and apply them to yourself. Get ready for the glorious ride because you are about to make an identity switch and become the woman who gets what she wants.